Hey, and welcome to another episode. So, this is a new week. I'm uh, shooting this on a Monday morning. And winter has really set in around here now. And I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, it's the sun is up outside the window. It's uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius right now. And that's pretty cold even for these parts. But it will become a lot colder if we uh, have one of those... Um, really cold winters. I hope not, but uh, let's see how it goes. And uh, today I want to talk about the Emacs 2. Because in the case of the Emacs, I think this is actually where the sequel is better than the original. And just like I prefer Aliens to Alien, the movie, I think the, um, the sequel, Aliens, is a lot more enjoyable uh, than Alien. Uh, and I think The Empire Strikes Back is a lot more enjoyable than uh, Star Wars. And that's not only because part of uh, The Empire Strikes Back is filmed in Norway, actually. The Battle of Hoth is filmed on Finse. It's a um, place on top of the mountain here in Norway. And I might even add that I think The Two Towers is the better... Uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, movie in the trilogy. So sometimes I really think the sequel is better than the original. In the case of the Emacs 2, I think the sum is greater than the parts. It's something about the sound of the Emacs 2, slightly metallic, but also slightly smeared in its sound. That sort of brings me right back to the late 80s when this was released, of course. But I think it sort of captures the essence of the late 80s sampler sound where samplers have begun to, um, to move into, uh, to become 16-bit samplers. And the converters uh, got a lot quieter. And all the things that I usually uh, don't prefer to the 12-bit uh, the samplers and the more gritty converters, etc. But in the case of the Emacs, I really dig the sound of the Emacs too. It's instant Depeche Mode. Uh, not that I'm aiming necessarily for a Depeche Mode sound in my music. Uh, I usually don't. Although I've done some Depeche Mode covers on my channel. And if you uh, check back on my channel, you can see that I have a Emacs versus Emacs 2 uh, comparison video. I don't draw any conclusions in that myself. That's more up to, to, to you guys watching. Uh, I, I like both uh, the Emacs's. I've sold three original Emacs's during the last three years, but I've kept the Emacs 2. This has a new display on it. It has a uh, GoTek floppy emulator, which is kind of redundant, as I also have the um, SCSI to SD card inside here. So I have uh, four different uh, hard drives set up in here. Uh, on that card, so I can access banks uh, very fast. I'll show you that in a moment. So uh, there's some upgrades to this Emacs 2. I've decided to keep this over the original Emacs. I have lots of samplers, as you know, but I always come back to this, uh, to this Emacs 2 model. So let's check out some of the sounds I have on this, and uh, yeah. <laughs> So what I can do, I can select the drive. So I have four SCSI drives, each 400 megs in total. So I just choose the one I want and I can choose banks, presets I've set up. So let's uh, see if we can find something else. Arc with strings, of course. Some classic Emacs uh, libraries, floppies, at the beginning of this bank. Stereo piano. Very 
sound. The famous shakuhachi, of course. Okay, for anyone doesn't know it. One of the iconic sounds, of course, from the 80s. Warm piano. I don't have any sustain pedals hooked up right now, so I can't do any uh, really authentic piano action uh, playing. It's more staccato. Let's see what else we've got. Some Actually, some uh, Pet Shop Boys samples here. I won't play them because YouTube would shut me down. So let's um, forget those, some PPG sounds. Oops. That's the end of that. Multisynth, again, uh, classic Emacs sounds. Some JX3P, I have a uh, one of those, of course. I think there's more later on. Another one, uh, famous one, Liquid Stack. Uh, what can we do with that? <laughs> What else? June 6, that's my own samples uh, over here. Drumulator sounds. Yeah, I got lots of stuff. Yeah. Um, what's this? Some brass sounds. This is one of mine. Use that in a, in a couple of songs, among them uh, Those Days Part 2, a uh, JX3P. Seems to be something wrong with uh, with one of the loop points here. I can hear it for every every chord I take, but it's a nice sound nonetheless. I really like the sound of the Emacs too. Sure, it doesn't have the filter of that um, of that first original one, but you do get a filter here as well. And um it is digital, of course. Anyways, I hope you liked this um, demo of the Emacs 2 and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!